Hello everyone, it's your friend Moonhorse here with a special, albeit slightly shorter, episode of Buy and Sell Hell. I didn't find many images for this one, but I did find a few that I'm pretty interested in. This is not so much us looking at terrifying homes in this one. This is Buy and Sell Hell questionable content. And by that I mean, how did you get these things? Or, why did you think you could sell these things? I found a few. There's not a lot of images in this, and we'll try to talk about them as much as we can when we go through, so we can make a pretty good episode out of this. But let's start with the, the image one here. This was listed as Fire Sticks Free. As you can see, there are quite a fucking lot of them. A lot of Amazon Fire Sticks in a nondescript box, all still wrapped, which makes me wonder, how did you come across these? Did you really buy that many just to give them away for free? Or is there something more to this? <laughs> this seems like maybe they were attained through, shall we say, questionable means, and now we need to get rid of them. Otherwise, we might be in trouble for, you know, possession of stolen property. <laughs> this is... This is a fucking great image, because it literally was just like, They're free! Uh, come and get them! As soon as possible! Fire sticks! Take more than one! And it's just like... Uh-huh. <laughs> like this... This sounds like a scam. This sounds like you either bought a bunch of them, and you're trying to rope somebody into something, or you attain them illegally, and now you're just trying to get rid of the fucking evidence. <laughs> Why do I get the impression if you went to pick up one of these fire sticks, you'd be treated to a speech about how great doTERRA essential oils are, or uh, fucking Young Living or something like that is? <laughs> or they might fucking analyze your thetans. <laughs> yeah, that sounds a little, uh, a little suspect, shall we say. Let's go down... Uh, to the next image, which is this sofa. <laughs> this was actually sent to me from someone on Discord. Uh, they found this sofa, which is being sold $100. Don't you want to pay $100 for that sofa? Don't you think that that sofa, that gently used sofa, that five-star rated fucking sofa... <laughs> Isn't that just the thing you want in your house? <laughs> I've never physically been in the same room as this sofa, but I imagine it just smells like cat pee. I, I don't know that, but I have a serious suspicion that it, so it, just, it just does. It just does. A hundred dollars for this beat-to-fuck sofa. Man, I, I don't know. I don't know, don't you want it? Doesn't that just look comfortable? <laughs> okay, let's go to the next image is this watch. This Apple Watch 3. <laughs> $150 for this Apple Watch. Now, I don't know, man. What, um... Uh, what what do you think is uh is wrong with the watch guys? <laughs> that motherfucker looks like you hit it with a hammer. <laughs> Holy shit. I can't tell if it's really powered on or if that's just like a fucking image that is frozen on the screen because you hit it with a hammer. What the fuck happened to this watch? Why are you taking this picture in your car? That is a steering wheel. There's so many questions about this. But my favorite part of this, aside from the fact that they want $150, come down a little. Conditioned. Used. Fair. That's fairly used. That's that's just gently worn. That That's what happens, man. I mean, I don't know about you guys. When I buy a smartwatch, I get it out of the store. I go home, I take it out of the box. Beat the ever-loving shit out of it, and that is fairly warm. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> oh, 
gets better. This is the back. Oh, not only is the front fucked up. <laughs> you fuck, how do you fuck up the front and the back? What happened to this watch? Oh, fuck. Like... <laughs> I have so many questions. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> this is fucking amazing. Just wow. Oh my gosh. Just look at that shit. Fairly worn. Fairly worn. Do you guys know that? It is fairly worn. While we take this picture in our Kia. I don't know why we decided to take this picture in the Kia, uh, but we did. So there we go. And like I said, this is not a long episode, so this is the last image I have. <laughs> this is this is just a bunch of computers, bunch of computers for sale. No, I'm sorry, for free. Uh, but they, it's not free. It's free, but it's not. Okay, because we have to go through first. Let's start with the. Let's, we're gonna move away from the. Don't look at the picture just yet. Let's look at the side from our uh, from our thing here from marketplace. This is in Baton Rouge, by the way. No free, okay. Several things. Yeah, it looks like several things. All right. <laughs> it's just. Uh, okay. I have computer's desktop. I'm sorry. Computer's desktop. Monitor. Tower. Speaker's car's keyboard. Mouse. Mouses. Sorry. Printers. And I... There are so many different kinds here that this, this just screams questionable. But I have to say my favorite part... We're going to hold off on my favorite part till right near the end of this. Let's look at these computers here. We have so many different kinds. Like, okay. G-Man has on more than one occasion worked at a place where they want to upgrade their entire uh, computer network. So they have to get whole new computers because of how specific the network is. And some of their stuff is out of date. So what a lot of companies will do is they'll contact somebody like HP or Dell and they'll say like what they need and then, you know whatever the computer manufacturer will be like oh our whatever series is, our 500 series is totally capable of doing that and they'll be like all right well we need 30 of those so they order 30 identical 500 series computers i don't know if there really is a 500 series i'm making shit up so they'll order a whole bunch of them exactly the same nothing different about them all the same computers. It's cheaper that way. It also makes maintenance a hell of a lot easier because you already know what's in every single one of them. So they'll then either salvage or toss out the old ones. On more than one occasion, G-Man has salvaged a couple of these old computers because they still work. They're not the most up-to-date or whatever, but they are still functional and are still capable of being used for smaller side projects. I've helped them redo a couple of them in the past. You know, they ain't amazing, but hey, they're free for one, and they do pretty good work when you need them to. So, if this room was filled with like 30 of the same computer, I would say that is where most of these came from. And I'm tempted to say that that's where those two little silver, I think those are Dells, and the one HP right next to it are from because of the stickers on the top. Companies will do that a lot. They'll put the actual like information right on top of the tower just in case the tech guys need it. Keep going to the right, though. <laughs> these these two, uh, like this NVIDIA bad boy right here and this big red thing, who I have no idea who made that, those seem like custom towers. A lot of these actually seem like custom towers. A lot of these don't seem like they're supposed to be in your garage. I get the impression if you spent a shitload of money on a gaming computer, even when it starts to fall out of date, you would either recycle the parts, use what you can, or at the very least, keep the big ass expensive case that you obviously paid for. I don't think you got those. <laughs> I think you you might have uh, 
you know, found them from somebody there. And I specifically think that that might be the case because right back, let's go to my favorite part for the end of the episode. Who's selling this stuff? Laura Laptops! <laughs> <laughs> Laura fucking laptops. <laughs> Laura, damn it. Laura, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that was such a fucking wonderful fake name. <laughs> I'd be like a lady selling stolen cars and her name is Connie Cars! <laughs> My boyfriend sells trucks. This is Timmy Truck. <laughs> His cousin Vinny Van. <laughs> Guess what he sells? <laughs> Holy fuck. This was fucking amazing. <laughs> Laura left. <laughs> Am <laughs> totally legit seller. Laura laptop. No free, okay? Several thing. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. This was wonderful. Okay, guys. If you have stuff that you would like me to look at and think that would make great episodes for this show or any of the shows that I'm doing, please send me links or write down stories, whatever you want. Send it to r slash moonhorse stories. I will definitely check it out. And if you'd like to keep the lights on in this place so we can keep investigating people like Laura Laptops. <laughs> Sorry, I can't get over that name. Uh, you can do that by donating to my Patreon or you can buy stuff in the store like t-shirts, coffee mugs, <laughs> laptops. <laughs> there are no laptops, I'm sorry. I just really wanted to do that. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> Still, Timmy Trucks, I said hello. <laughs> Bye.